Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. So the Chinese envoy left Ukraine after being kicked in the teeth. But uh, I can't believe they did not know that would be the outcome of the conversations that they will have and eventually had with the Ukrainian side. Uh, the Chinese are not idiots, obviously, and they know exactly who should be talked to. But I think all this uh, um, cir circus uh, showing up in... Um, why I call it circus? Because it's, a, it's staged. They know exactly what's going on. I'm talking about the Chinese. So basically, they told... Uh, they asked the Ukrainians for a ceasefire. And obviously, the Ukrainians laughed and said just get out of here go and play at uh, at moscow and that's what the chinese will do go to moscow the russians will say yes we're all for, for all for peace under our um obviously our uh how should i put it uh, conditions which is the same uh, from the other side and uh, the other side um has its own world view and the Chinese either don't know it, which I doubt, or it just as I said, they did it for the rest of the world to see that, hey, we are implicated, we tried, and this is it. So nobody can blame us. Uh, and I don't, I don't understand why they even care about that, to be blamed by whom. So maybe they were just, you know, good hearted and tried. So this article that I have here, let me show you at least uh, the headline. And then I'm going to tell you the Ukrainian worldview, or at least the guys behind Ukraine's worldview, that the Chinese either don't get it yet, or is just, you know, pretend. Ukrainska Pravda, Zelensky's office response to Chinese envoy call for occupied territories to be given to Russia. That's what they say. So, Mikhailo Podolyak, the advisor to the head of the office of the president of Ukraine, has responded to the call by Liu Hui, the Chinese government's special representative, for a ceasefire in Ukraine through, and I'm quoting, recognizing the occupied Ukrainian territories as Russia's. End quote. Podolyak on Twitter. Any compromise scenario envisioning the liberation of not all territories of Ukraine, which anonymous sources in the European and American elites periodically, periodically talk about is tantamount to admitting the defeat of democracy, the victory of Russia, the preservation of Putin's regime, and as a consequence, the sharp increase in conflicts in global politics. End quote. He's right about all this right here. Podolyak said that all this is Russia's cherished dream. And I'm quoting, the, the question is rhetorical. Why do individual public actors keep playing the Russian media scenario and protracting the conflict? End quote, Podolyak stressed. Okay, so earlier the Wall Street Journal referring to Western officials familiar with the progress of Liu Hu's Hui's negotiations in European capitals reported that he apparently tried to convince his European counterparts that they should call for a ceasefire in Ukraine, recognizing the occupied Ukrainian territory as belonging to Russia. Convince his European counterparts. Now, this is what actually United States wants and the interests around and behind it. Russia, Russia cannot do anything below this or less than this. First, Russia must go back to uh, where it was before the uh, 24th of February 2022, 2022, I'm losing it. So 2022, so last year when they started, pay reparations to everybody. That would be, I don't know, about $700 billion. It was an estimate. They say about $450 billion just for Ukraine, but with everything from it's going to be about $700 Putin must go, and everybody else. The Russian leadership must be replaced with a weasel leadership, weasel uh, leadership, like uh, you know, you have 
Scholz, you have Sunak, you have Zelensky, you have these guys, so some uh, vassal state basically. The mass media must be controlled and again allowed to uh, be, you know, put to the side and bring in CNN, MSNBC and BBC and uh, free mass media, if you know what I mean. Russia will have to provide the West only with cheap resources. Their military, the Russian military, will be put under 100% supervision and control of the NATO slash United States. Is, uh, okay? And um, what else? Ukraine will be part of NATO sometime. Uh, US uh, military infrastructure, missiles and all that will be pumped into Ukraine. CIA will again open an office in Moscow as it had it under Yeltsin. Uh, what else? Russia will be, you know, uh, kept maybe disarmed in a certain way or they will create a little, um, how do you call that, a committee that will make sure that Russia's uh, nuclear weapons in the military will be actually under the command of the good people. So this never again Remember that? Never again happen, you know? Basically, Russia will be a country under the occupation of the good and will be milked and will be um, provided propaganda. We're going to push all kind of pervert ideology that whomever wants to push it, you know what I mean? They will do whatever they want. And Russia and Russians will, uh, will be just uh, kept to a position where it will never, never recover. I liked, uh, which I don't like, but I liked what she said, and she is Victoria Nuland, you know, that uh, Undersecretary, US Undersecretary of State, the one with 2013-2014 uh, uprising in Ukraine, you know her? Yesterday I covered her in an, uh, in an video uh, regarding an article where she said that we're not going to do this again. She told the Ukrainians, we being the West, United States, we either do it now and we them up right now forever because we're not going to do it this again. Why? Because if we don't succeed right now, I don't think we can succeed next time because these guys are building something else. So they got to do it now. And I think uh, that was very revealing what she said. It's just, we're never going to do it again. So now or ne that's it. That's why they put everything in it. And they will put everything in it. Everything meaning uh, even military. Uh, they talk about these incursions. They talk about all these trained troops uh, from um, the European uh, being trained over there, you know, the Ukrainians and the volunteers. What I think those volunteers and those Ukrainian trained troops from uh, the European Union and wherever they might be, I think they will be, I think, I just have a gut feeling, uh, that uh, they might be, or could be, will be, maybe, um, military personnel from the armies of certain countries from abroad come to Poland, they take their things down, they put the badge of uh, volunteer, and they enter Ukraine as volunteers. And when they get killed or captured, they were just volunteers. And they used to be in the military of their own countries, just before they entered Ukraine. And what are you going to do? They're volunteers. I, uh, I think it's already happened here, happening here in Ukraine already. And I think uh, those uh, military advisors that are in Ukraine at this time are not over there just walking around and tell the Ukrainians how to use an AK-47 or a Howitzer or something like this. Okay, I don't think that's all of it. The intelligence is already there. The orders are already there. They communicate like uh, Zaluzny used to tell uh, NATO, whomever, hey, sir, this is what we did. What do you think is the decision for the next one? Okay, let us know. I think that's how it was, uh, the communication. But do I have evidence? No, but I'm not an idiot. So <laughs> I'm sorry uh, that I uh, do not fall under that category. So the Chinese went, they tried. Uh, obviously, this is the interpretation of these guys. I'm... 100% certain it was not like that. I think it was more that gives a different nuance, but this is what you do. 
this is the information from A to Z and you take only C, I don't know, E, you take a P and you take an X and you put them together and say, oh, this is what actually it was. Hey, what about the rest? What, what rest? Because we let you know what was talked about. Like this article, just let us know what the problems were. Give, give the territories to Russia and you cease fire. I mean, if with this, with C and E, out of the whole alphabet, you say, oh my God, these Chinese are bad as hell. Nobody would agree, you see? That's why the Ukrainians did not want to talk about it. Because the Ukrainians are going to do the bidding of what I just told you. What needs to be done with Russia. So there's not going to be any talking. It's going to be either we're going to get that done, as I just said, or I don't know, you're going to continue to have these uh, resources drained drain into this war. Our citizens will have a, a lower standard of living. Who cares, right? And uh, we're going to be in charge and we're going to be very important still. Well, that's the way I see things. And I don't see them because I just dreamt about this last night because I was frustrated because I don't know this or that. Okay? Thank you very much uh, for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.